Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Epson L3210 printer driver in a Windows 7 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy. Go to the computer, right click on the computer, click on the properties. In properties, find system type. If system type is 32 bit, that means that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. If system type is 64 bit, that means that machine is 64 bit operating system machine. This machine is 32 bit operating system machine. Close it. Next step is download the our printer driver. That is very easy and simple. Go to the any web browser that you like. I'm going to the Google Chrome and in search type download Epson L3210 printer driver and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Epson. Open the first link. First link is from the Epson and Epson official website is open. Here is the our Epson and the our model number, our printer name L3210. Scroll down and here we find operating system. If it's not detect your operating system right or your bit right, then go to the here and select your operating system. My operating system is Windows 7 and bit is 32 bit. So select Windows 7 and 32 bit. Bit is also very IMP, select your bit right. If Windows 7 64 bit, then go to the Windows 7 64 bit. My machine is Windows 7 32 bit. I select that. Click on the go button. Here we find go button. Click on go button. Our page goes to refresh and new drivers are appear on our screen. Scroll down and here we find drivers. Here is the drivers. Click on this plus button, expand drivers. Here we find scanner driver. Here we find scanner driver. And here we find printer driver. First, I download the scanner driver. Download, click on the download. It's redirect to another page. Click on the accept. And our download is started at here. It takes few seconds. So be a patient and wait for a few seconds to download to complete. Wait for a few seconds to download to complete. Our download is completed now. Click on show all. Click on show in a folder. Minimize it. Drag this scanner setup file to desktop. Close it. Next step is download the, our printer driver. Go to the web browser once again. Close it. Close it. Here we find in drivers list. Go to the main, main web page. In drivers we find our printer name. Here we find printer driver. Click on this download button. It's redirect to another page. Click on the accept. And download is started at here. Here we find our download. Click on the show all. Our download is completed. Click on show all. In show all, we find show in a folder. Click on show in a folder. Minimize it. Drag this setup file to desktop. Close it. Here is the, our scanner file and here is the, our printer setup file. This printer setup file is actually GIF file and we are going to unzip this GIF file or extract this GIF file. That is very easy and simple. Right click on it. Click on the extract files. Click on the OK. It's extracted and new folder is created on the desktop. Double click on new folder. Double click on it folder, double click on it and here we find our drivers file. Close it. Next step is install our printer. That is very easy and simple. We are going to install it manually. Go to the start. Click on the control panel. Click on control panel. In a control panel, click on devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. In devices and printers, at the top we find add a printer. Click on add a printer. Double click on add a printer. Close it. Here we find many options. Go to the add a local printer. Click on add a local printer. Here we find existing port. Click on this use an existing port. Click at here. And here we find port list. Click on this port list. And if you find any USB port, USB 001, USB 002, 003, 004, select any USB port that you want. Select USB port. Click on the next. Here we find have a dicks. Click on have a dicks. Click on the browse. Go to the desktop. Here we find folder. Double click on this folder. Double click on this folder. Double click on this folder. Here we find some file, drivers file. Click on any driver file that you like. All drivers are same file. Click on this drivers file. Click on open. Click on OK. Here we find Epson L3210 series. But one problem. Here we find yellow triangle. This driver is not digitally signed and it's Q for error and we solve this in the next step. Select this and click on next. Here we find Epson 
I remove series, you can do any name. I give the option L3210 and click on the next. Wait for a few seconds, installation started and here we find error. Error is Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software. This is the, our error. Click on install this so driver software anyway. Click on install this driver software anyway. Wait for a few seconds. Our installation process is once again started and it takes few seconds. Our installation is completed. If you want to print a text page, then click on a print a text page or click on the finish. Next step is install our scanner driver. That is also very simple. Click on the scanner, double click on the scanner file or right click on it and click on run as an administrator. Click on run as an administrator. Click on the yes. Wait for a few seconds. Installation is started now. Click on the next. Accept the terms and condition. Click on the next. Wait for a few seconds, our installation is started and one error message is also appear in this. Here we find error. Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver software. And solution is install this software. Anyway, click at here and wait for a few seconds. Installation is complete in a few seconds. Wait for a few seconds. Our installation is completed. Click on the finish. Scanner part is also done. Click on the finish. Click on the, click on the finish. After that, we check our printer is properly installed or not. That is very easy. Go to the start. Click on the control panel. In a control panel, we find devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. In a devices and printer, we find Ipsen L3210. That means our printer is properly installed and it's work 110% on our Windows 7 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.